some lettuce, romaine leaf lettuce. Uh, and in here, around the corners, um, I got some of those mini taters, fingerling potatoes, really small, really, really small. Let me dig one up. Let me show you what I'm, I'm working with here. You know, I planted them about March 10th. It's about 14 days. So I can get one up. I put them in about one to two inches down in the soil. So here's one of them way down there. Let me get another one out here somewhere. Here we go right here. Here we go. So after about 10 days of uh, planting, you can see the stems growing out, you know, trying to push into maybe some getting some new tubes. You know, I have, this is a learning experience for me too. I had to figure out, you know, what these, you know, potatoes are called tubes. This is considered the mother tube because it's the first one that is planted. And these stems here are going to reach out into creating more tubes. So, yeah. So I'm going to drop that back in the hole, but you can see after 10 days, um, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Bury that deep. Hey, what's up guys? Mopar for Life here. Welcome to the channel. July 14th, 2020. Today I will be harvesting my fingerling style potatoes. It is 6.30 in the morning. This is going to be my first harvest ever for any type of potatoes. As you know, this is my first garden ever. But before I do that, I will be cutting the stems back down to ground level, getting everything nice and cleaned up. Then I'll start to prune them out. I won't be using any type of pitchfork or anything like that. I'll just be all doing it by hand. That way I don't injure the skins of the potatoes or anything like that. But nonetheless, let's get to it. Let me show you what type of yield I have. Let's see how well I've done. So as you can see here, really quick process here. All I was using was some scissors. Couldn't find my shears this morning. Cut them down to ground level. I will begin to pull them up now by the stems in hopes that they'll pull up right away through that, uh, along with that root system. So let's see if, uh, let's see what we got. Not a very deep bed at all, I would say about maybe 12 inches. So not too much to pull up from. Don't think it'll be that hard. But you can pretty much see everything here. Let's check it out. As you can see, everything just pulls right up with it. Let me give you guys a little close up here as I pull the root system up. Like I said, these are fingerling style potatoes, so you can already see them as I pull the root system up here. 
I'll be careful in pulling these out. I'll be putting them in this uh, tray here. And then when I put them in the tray, I will I'll put the tray out of the sun because, you know, you don't want any type of uh, sun getting to these before they cure or even after they cure. You just want to keep them from getting green. So I'll put this back up and then let me just, let me just tug one out here for you. And you can see they're already starting to sprout and grow their own eyes. So I might be a little bit late here, but it's all a learning process. So that is okay. Go ahead and place that in there. Another one here. Well, this one was not even connected. So got another one here. And this right here might be the mother tuber. I am kind of unsure, but uh, nonetheless, I will pull them all off. Got another one down here. Like I said, these are small potatoes, not really that large. Doing this all by hand, making sure everything's out of here. Can't really say I expect it too much, this being my first time, but wow, look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that. That is all out there. Coming out nice and easy as I pull them from the root system here. So my expectations weren't that high. This being your first time, well, this being my first time. Wow, these potatoes are really, really small. They get really down there. Hmm. So, as you can see there, I want to make sure everything is out of here. I want to grab all the good stuff. Anything that's readily available to eat. Even these small ones, I can just throw them in the pan, cook them up with some oil. They say the small ones don't last as long in storage, so you really want to get to them as fast as you can. But um, I'm pretty sure these will go pretty fast because I really like the way they taste. They're really buttery tasting. If you ever had any of these, but I will throw that off to the side. And uh, so that was my pretty pretty much my first pull right there. Um, I am looking down in between, making sure there's no more. We got another stem over here, so that pulled nothing with it, so I'm going to have to get in there. So let me put the camera back. Let me part, start pulling up some, some more potatoes. But you can see down there, these potatoes, they're not really that bad. They're really, uh, the skin feels really tough on them, for one. They're really not that small, so I'm getting some pretty good potatoes from this uh, harvest already. And I've still got about five more stems to go through, so, which is, which is nice. And I still got some more potatoes down in here. Excuse my hand. Um, so, 
And in the beginning, I only planted about maybe eight potatoes, I think. So these are all stemming from, you know, eight potatoes. So I'll put the camera back. You know, as you can see here from three plants, <clears throat> not too bad, right? There you go. So about six plants through, I got about two or three more to go. Yeah, I was trying to get one all on the vine there. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. I pretty pretty much pulled up the majority of the potatoes for this plant bed here. And some of these might even be the mother potato, as you can see here. Mother, when I say mother, the one that I originally planted, um, the one that sends shoots out to create other tubers and stuff like that. Um, However, usually on videos I've watched, um, the mother, you know, tubers are the ones that kind of look kind of like a rotted out, but huh, no rotted out from this one. So I'm kind of unsure. I will show you my yield for this plant bed. This is my yield from what I originally planted, eight fingerling style potatoes. As you can see here, I will place it. Let me place these down. So there you go. This is my yields. And see, this is what I'm talking about. I accidentally scratched this one with my fingernail. So that is something I'm going to have to place off to the side and sort out. Um, this is not going to be good for storing anymore based on some of the videos I watched. So that sucks for me. You know, I really, really want to store. And actually, I just want to do this the right way. So lesson learned, right? Be careful, you got nails. Uh, don't scratch your potatoes. Um, they are not going to cure well or store well. Um, so like I said, this is pretty much everything I got for this bed here. And I will place, let's walk over here really quick. So there we go. This is good here. I will go inside and I will grab uh, a scale just to show you um, the yield in terms of pounds here. I will be right back in a second. on there and it's not letting me unless I push this on there and I can see the top of it well you know what I don't think I'm gonna get a good sorry about that I don't think I'm gonna get this scale to work for that so um, what I believe it feels about like nine or ten pounds of fingerling style potatoes so now it is time to cure them and uh, get them to dry out some. I'm going to be sorting these out, but uh, thank you for following me on my fingerling style potato harvest. My first harvest ever. 
I think I got a pretty good yield back. Really exciting to do this for the first time. So my recommendations, if you if you're in a you know if you're on the fence about growing potatoes or anything like that, go ahead and give it a try. It's not that hard at all. Just you know you just got to keep up with it, following the preventatives and stuff like that. It is a very very long season for them to grow. I waited about almost four months from plant date to the time I just harvested today. So. With that being said, go and do it. Give it a try. You won't be disappointed, especially if it's your first time. So this is Mopar for Life saying thank you. I appreciate you know you watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video saying peace out, be safe. Hope you have a good one. Bye. Phyllis. Uh-huh. For $250. Uh-huh. What? Ow. $250 for this.